they, they are strong in one area. Like a Baptist church, it's all about heart. It's a volitional choice of the heart. It's about the decision. That's, the, you know, they hammer that home. You know, you might have uh, someone that's more liturgical, more methodical, more intellectual in their approach of Scripture, uh, a denomination that's more spirit-filled, and one that's more demonstrative in their worship, all right? When I, my church, my personal church that I attend fits in that box right there. It's more about that than, you know, and you'll see churches, they'll usually be in one or two Real strong in one and maybe have a, an inclination toward the other. Rarely will you see a church that has all, all four. But when, I, when I'm planning a worship set, I look out in the crowd and I can tell i got people that are in these boxes that aren't getting fed. So what I try to do is I, I, I develop my worship set for church to try to hit all of those, those give them balanced diet. So I've got, I've got a hymn in my set. I've got, you know, I've got whatever. Or even if I rewrite it, it's still a hymn and it's something that they're familiar with. When I write, and you can take, you can boil it down even more granular to the song itself. When we write worship songs, we should be trying to give them a balanced diet in that song. And what, where we have a, I think where we as songwriters have a more difficult time in, in creating songs as opposed to, say, an author. You know, you have a, someone who's writing a book or something like that. They can write as much as they want to say what they want to say. We've got three to five minutes. To, com to condense our story and get everything out. That's why, you know, you know Kenny's talked about imagery and furniture and the, and the song and all that stuff. That's why it's so important that we really look at those things when we're writing songs. You know, there's, there's a lot of great songs out there. If, it's, if, it, if the song, um, imagery-wise, is only this deep, you know, what you're saying may be this deep, but, but you're, only, you're only giving image for that deep. That's all, that's all that people are going to be able to connect with on that song. So the, the deeper we can make it, you know, we want we want our song to be, you know, have have those components in it that, that uh, will do that. But as we're going through the project, I think if we focus on trying to present a balanced diet, you know, and, and we're going to have songs that are going to fit strongly in one area or the other as far as the way it touches the listener. And, you know, but so as we compile the project, we should look at, all right, how can we do that? And that goes back to what Phyllis was saying about, you know, categorization of a song. You know, is it a celebratory song? Is it a, you know, is it a salvation song? Is it, you know, is it a healing song? And, you know, can you so define those again, just in your definition, those four? Heart, mind, soul, and strength? Yeah. Just to me, this, this is a, the choice, the volitional as choice. As far as of part heart. of a song. Oh. Okay. Can you, I mean, you, you understand, you know what I mean? I, well, just the general definition is fine. I, go ahead. I just... I'm trying to get in my head what I don't do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I mean, look, what, at, look what is the way. Is, is a soul, you know, you get your, your, your definition of soul. When I think of soul music, that's not what you're talking about. No, no. So, I mean. I'm talking about the way you experience worship. Right. So, to, give me those just general definitions of All right. Soul. The way the way I've at least processed this in my mind right. is that this is, this is a, a volitional choice of my heart to follow Jesus, all right? It, it may not necessarily have anything to do with, um, uh, you know, I guess, let me move on. Okay. This is an intellectual understanding of God. This would be a manifestation of gifts and spirit, all right? Whether, you know, and there's churches, they don't speak in tongues, and there are churches that do. And wherever you stand on that topic, you know that's a, that, to me that's a that's a topic for discussion and, and not necessarily a, a reason for division. I mean, ever so that would be spirit, spirit built, yeah. Okay. okay. And then this would be uh, more um, action oriented. In what you know, way? What? Um, I see. Um, I see when I when I see a church that's strong in this, they're very service oriented. They're they're doers. Uh -huh. All right. So uh, I guess. Here, here's this um, IHOP, mm -hmm. YLAN. Okay. Okay. That that's yeah. these guys are all about let's go, let's go, let's go, let's yeah. do, let's do, let's, let's do. Yeah. They're like let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. And there needs to be a balance okay. to be totally effective. Okay. And that's just an opinion. 
if you're, you know, I don't want to say that that IHOP doesn't do things and, and YWAM doesn't pray. I'm not saying that. No, I, I understand. But that's their strength. That's what, and that's mm -hmm. the kind of people that they draw to them. But Got my it. church has all those people in them. But the, the d dynamic of the service gravitates one way or the other. Right. So <clears throat> that's why I was asking is the, the dynamic of the service is what generally what you're talking about. But then when you start applying that to a song, right. the dynamic of a song. Right. You know, the, I think the dynamic of the song, what's going to happen is we're going to have a song that gravitates to one of these naturally will gravitate. Two and over that. Yeah. Right. right. And then, but if we can look at how do we incorporate these other elements, at least get them in there, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. we got our meat. We need a little. We need a little vegetable over here, you know. I see. Well, he's saying in the overall product and then, project, and then the overall the project. Song. Yeah, right. I, I think you can get granular to the song. You're not going to be able to push it totally balanced. I don't think just because we right. have our own personal preference. So you might have two songs that cover those, or three songs, or whatever. Right. I but when you compile the project, we should look at how do we compile it so that we're feeding everything. So and and to get as much balance as you can. Right. In the project. 